uh, today I'll be showing you guys how to install the Dracutio keymap file that I've made in order to show the keyboard matrix as well as the PC stats and date time. Okay, so it will be split into three different parts and there will be timestamps in the description for you guys to follow. So first off, you need to install and set up the QMK based on your OS, either you are Mac OS or Windows, you should be able to find uh, how to set up QMK here. Okay, after you have set up the QMK, there should be a folder called QMK firmware right below your username on the uh, OS. So right now I'm using a MacBook, so it's easier to find it here. But for Windows user, you should be able to find it in a similar place. So go ahead and open up the QMK firmware and find keyboards folder. Now you should be able to find the keyboard vendor that makes your keyboard. My it is the mic wall and you should be able to navigate to the folder for your keyboard and go to the key maps folder. You should be able to create a new folder called Rakutio or whatever name you want. And then you can go to this commit and basically just paste all the code in with all the description if you want to know better about it. Or you can go right here and create the files and copy them over. Okay, once all of the file has been copied over, you could run this command which basically compile the keyboard. It gives you a hex file which you can flash your keyboard with. After that, go ahead and install the QMK toolbox right here. After that, you should be able to flash your keyboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'll unplug my keyboard and then I'll hold escape while I'm plugging it back in. And then the flash button should light up indicating that you are now able to flash your keyboard. So just go ahead and flash it. Make sure you have your path right here correct. And then once everything is finished, you could go ahead and unplug your keyboard and then plug it back in. At this point, it should be working. Now you should be able to see the keyboard typing matrix and layers. Okay, so for step two, you will need to clone or download the code from this repo, which is basically a Node.js server that will fetch the infos and send to the keyboard each second. After you have cloned or downloaded the code, go ahead and cd inside the folder, cd qmk hid display, and then run npm install. After everything has finished, go ahead and do node index.js, which basically starts the server for you. Now before the code actually works, you need to fill in the config for your keyboard. You can find all of this information right in the QMK folder. So there should be a config file under your keyboard name. And I've already noted what information is needed. So this will be defined product, which is here. So you just go ahead and copy it over. The same goes to the vendor ID and product ID. The keyboard uses page and usage ID is default. So you don't need to change it. After that, you should be able to see it saying keyboard connection established. And now if you have your keyboard connected, whenever you switch the layer, it should come up in the console. That's basically it. Now one of the downside for the uh, PC stats and date time is that you, you need to run this script every time that you want the information to show on the keyboard. So what I've done to make it a little bit easier is I basically wrote a uh, bash script that execute the code whenever I click onto it. So that's going to be the third step, uh, which is an extra step if you want. So this is basically the code. Here I have it at the desktop level. So 
change the directory to the top level and then I find the folder after that I just run node index.js like usual now in order to give this file permission to run you have to go into the terminal and then cd to its destination and then type chmod plus x which basically means giving it the permission to execute followed by the name of the file after you've done that step you should be able to just click it and the file will run okay that's pretty much it uh if you have any problems along the way please give me a message or comment down in the video and i will get back to you shortly thanks everyone